microorganisms are almost everywhere we look. In order to demonstrate that in this procedure, we're going to do three different things. To start with, you'll need to label two different TSA plates. On the first TSA plate, um, as with the second, you'll want to label your name, your section number, and the identity of what's on the plate. Label one as your cough plate and the other as your streak plate. Notice that the labeling is on the edges of the auger so that any growth on the plate will be visible. For the third activity that we'll be doing, we'll be using liquid TSB broth. In order to label this, make sure that you always apply tape to the tube first and then write on the tape rather than the tube itself. Again, label this with your name and section number and the identity of what's in your tube. Now we're ready for the fun part. We get to use fire to help us maintain sterility. Light your Bunsen burner with your striker and open your sterile water. Make sure that the, the lid is loose before you try to manipulate any of your jars using only one hand. Remove a sterile swab from the bottle. Make sure never ever to put the lid down. Immediately replace it on the bottle. In the same way, remove the lid from your sterile water, never setting the lid down. Pass the bottle lip through the flame a couple of times and dip your sterile swab into the water. When in doubt, flame it out. Pass it through the, the fire again and replace the lid immediately. Now you can go to any fun location you'd like. For instance, the dustpan. Ooh wee. Now we're ready to inoculate the auger. Grab your plate and lift the lid just ever so slightly, hovering above the surface of the auger so that not too many aerial contaminants can reach that auger. Rub the swab across the auger several times, back and forth, inoculating the entire surface of the plate. Discard your swab in the biohazard bag located conveniently on your desk. Now for the real fun. Get your cough plate and cough three times on your cough plate. Get big, large, guttural coughs. Finally, we're going to inoculate our TSB broth by putting our finger over the top and inverting the tube two to three times. Place your tube and your plates in the Tupperware bin on the side bench. Always, always, always make sure to invert your plates before putting them in the bin. There are very few exceptions to that rule. Your plates and your tube will now be incubated at the appropriate temperature for 24 to 48 hours.